What's up, everybody? Man Cave Dave here in Michigan with part five of this epic toy collection pickup. Uh, this was a purchase I made a couple of weeks ago and finally getting a chance to go through it. And uh, we have all kinds of good stuff here. And let's start with G.I. Joe. So we are running from oh, about 82 to 88 here. Uh, so starting on the left with the 82 and working our way over. So this first row, we have some 82 straight arm characters. And uh, I know a lot of you folks know this, but um, these are called straight arms because they just bend at the shoulder and at uh, the elbow, and that's it. Um, so they don't rotate side to side, where the ones that came out starting in 83, you can see also can rotate back and forth. And so um, they actually released a many or all of the 82 figures, some with a few minor changes in 1983 with the swivel arm action. An example of that are these two uh, snake eyes. This poor guy, the straight arm is missing his right arm. Uh, whereas this one is pretty much the same, but his arms uh, swivel. So uh, lots of cool figures here. We got a Cobra Commander. He was always one of my favorite. Um, a lot of these Cobra guys, the army builders, I'll probably hang on to just because they're kind of fun to have in the Terror Drome or other places. Um, a lot of these, poor Scarlet here, I think she has a yeah, broken crotch, so does Tripwire. So that's one of the things that these old G.I. Joes you always have to watch out for. A lot of them have broken crotches. Overall, this collection isn't too, too bad with that. Um, the one figure that uh, Kyle, the gentleman who I bought this from, said uh, that he gave to one of his friends who really wanted Storm Shadow. And it looks like his backpack is still here, so I'm going to have to get a hold of Kyle and send that over to him so he can send it to his friend. Uh, but lots more cool uh, figures. This is kind of neat. Zorana. I think it's Zorana. She actually has two different sculpts to her head. And so the ones on the bottom have earrings. And then this one, the newer, well, it's all the same year. Uh, actually has a completely different head sculpt with no earrings. Um, let's see. Oh, we have some uh, Brazil Force or Special Forces Brazil figures in here, uh, which was pretty neat. I didn't have any of those in my collection, so um, some of those are a little bit more rare, and uh, I'm pretty excited to add those in, including this guy up here. What else? Growing up, uh, I remember watching this cartoon, and I always had a lot of fun watching it. This was the only G.I. Joe I, I strongly remember having, a, a Battle Android Trooper, some of my favorite, with uh, the chest sticker that is reticular, changes depending on which uh, direction you look at it. This one's actually detached. I need to get some acid-free tape, and or not tape, glue, and put that back in there. Sergeant Slaughter, love, uh, love me some Sergeant Slaughter. Let's see, what else? Do we have it's of note oh i definitely enjoy jinx um excited to add her to the the collection she's one i didn't have and steel brigade this i totally missed when i saw pictures of the collection uh, this was a, a mail away figure pretty rare there's actually four versions uh, there's three versions with the silver helmet um, many of them have different chest pieces. This is the version one. It's the more rare version. Uh, the most rare has a gold helmet. So if you ever find one of those, um, <laughs> that's amazing. But uh, that's awesome. In all my years doing this, I've never actually come across one in the wild. So really excited to add that to the collection. What else here? Just more and more fun. As we get a little farther along into the 80s and then the 90s, um, the Joes, I don't know, they... To me, anyway, they kind of lost some of their, their flavor, some of their luster for the originals. Uh, but I love the, the 84 to 87 run. That's probably my favorite there. So and then over here, we have Centurions. I don't know a whole lot about Centurions, uh, but they are very, very cool. Um, then some Dino Riders. Unfortunately, all the dinosaurs are gone. Uh, but still kind of neat to see those guys. I have some more Dino Rider parts that I'll lot up. Uh, and then some... Real Ghostbusters or Ghostbusters toys, um, which is fun. I need to pop some batteries into this thing and see if it still works. Sectars. I completely forgot about these guys until I pulled this fly out or this, this beast, whatever it is, and I forgot there's a glove on the bottom. And so it was actually like a puppet that you could put on. You'd hit the button. I can't remember if the wings move or what, 
Um, but that is just really fun and really cool to see. Um, these, I don't think I'm gonna hang on to, um, but they are just just really neat. Um, and just something that was really cool to, to see and be like, oh yeah, I remember that. Also Rambo, uh, Rambo's such a, a part of the 80s that, I don't know, I'm torn on whether or not to hang on to these. Uh, but it's just really fun to see. Um, I mean, Sylvester Stallone, him and Arnold Schwarzenegger were two of the biggest action stars of all time, but especially the 80s. I remember going to the video store uh, with my dad and my sister and seeing the big posters of those guys, whether it was Predator or um, Rambo up on the, the wall. So that's always really neat um, to see and some more figures. And of course, along that line is Chuck Norris. So that was fun to find some Chuck Norris action figures here too. So, a pretty awesome collection here. Uh, my next step is to go through these, and uh, I have some other parts and pieces and um, put them together with these to see if I can make some complete figures. And also, uh, some of my figures are missing pieces, or some of these might be better than ones that I already have. So, I'll trade up and then get these on out to other people as well. Well, we still have Star Wars to go through. Uh, and then just some more random stuff. So we're we're getting there. We're over two-thirds of the way done. But thank you all for hanging in there and watching. And from here in Michigan, hope you're having a good week. This is Man Cave Dave, and uh, we'll see you soon.